Your job's been outsourced, your stocks are tanking, and your 401k says you'll be retiring comfortably at 147 years old. Oh well. Lamborghini does not feel your pain. A new big buck Lambo is in the works, and the UK's land speed record holders are gearing up for another run, and there's new word on a secret sports coupe from Toyota and Subaru. I'm Alex Gazella, and you are watching Fast Lane Daily. It's Fast Lane Daily with Alex Gazella. This episode of Fast Lane Daily is brought to you by Valvoline's automotive series, Under the Hood with Brandon and the Frog. Watch for new episodes at brandonandthefrog.com. If you thought the multi-million dollar Lamborghini Rebenton was just too much money and a little too much car, there's good news. For a couple bucks less, you might be able to pick up Lamborghini's next big thing. Spies caught a test mule for what they're saying is Lamborghini's new flagship supercar. The prototype rides on a wide-end Murcielago chassis. And that, insiders say, will mark a switch from a steel tub frame to an aluminum space frame construction. Spies say the yet unnamed car will be powered by a 6-liter V12 producing in the range of 700 horsepower to all four wheels. Expect most of the body panels to be carbon fiber, just like the Rebenton, with a roof and doors likely from aluminum. No word yet on price, but a sticker in the high six figures is reportedly not unlikely. A custom hydraulic Lamborghini underground garage is recommended, but not required. If you thought zero to 60 in four seconds was fast, what about zero to 1,000 in 40 seconds? Well, the British team that's gone faster than anyone else on land is planning a run at its own record. The effort is the brainchild of Scotsman Richard Noble, project leader of the Thrust SSC. That's the car driven by RAF pilot Andy Green that topped 633 miles per hour in Nevada's Black Rock Desert back in 1997. The new car is called the Bloodhound, and it's just a scale model for now, but Noble says it could be ready to make a 1,000 mile per hour run as early as 2011. Of course the team must raise, I don't know, about 10 million pounds. Well, that's more than 16 million dollars. Well, we hear they accept PayPal, so pony up guys. Next up, Toyota and Subaru get busy on a new sports coupe. That's in the internet rumor mill right after this. Make sure you have the right oil, the right tools. Now I like to use a high mileage oil on this baby here because uh, my girl, this 1970 Camaro Z28, has been around the block a few times. And I don't mean that with any disrespect. Brandon. I'm the frog. And you're watching. Hi, I'm Bra Where Brandon the frog. <laughs> I'm Brandon. I'm the frog. And you're watching. I'm Brandon. And I'm the frog. Today! Hi, I'm Brandon. We're Brandon the Frog, and you're watching Fast Lane Daily, sponsored by Valvoline. <laughs> it's been radio silence for Toyota and Subaru on its joint sports car project, and neither company has been talking about a new sports coupe that'll challenge the upcoming Hyundai. Genesis two-door. Well, Toyota of course owns 16.5 percent of Subaru parent Fuji Heavy Industries, but Japan's best car magazine says it has a scoop on the car some are calling a rebirth of the Toyota AE86. Word is the new compact sports car will share a platform with the Subaru Legacy and an engine with the Subaru Impreza. That's a version of Subaru's two-liter four-cylinder boxer engine set to produce in range of 200 horsepower. And that'll be connected to a six-speed manual. But Best Car says Toyota engineers aren't satisfied with the stock Subaru suspension, and they're reconfiguring the running gear to produce a tighter handling profile. And insiders say the 2,600-pound car may even come in an open-top version. Earlier reports indicated the new model would be sold in Japan as a Toyota and in North America as a Subaru. Well, no word yet from either company, but makers of rear window stickers have already come up with a solution. That wraps up Fast Lane Daily for today. I'm Alex Gazella, and I will see you later. What the hell? Hey, wait. Have you uh, have you seen my helmet? I need it for the uh, Garage 419 invitation on Sunday. Uh, no, I haven't seen it. All right. Well, if you do, just. Uh, leave it on my desk. Yeah, I'll send you an email later. Leave it on your desk. Okay. Give it to you later. Appreciate it. All right, thanks. Cool. Yeah. 10 and 2, yeah!